suburb just southwest of the town, the whole bluff has skidded, collapsed out toward the bay. Good morning, I'm Savannah Gates. We begin this hour with the news on the recent efforts of reviving agriculture in Galahad. Since the loss of the last batch of plants due to soil contamination with toxic waste, our country had to import increasingly expensive food supplies from our neighbors. Biologists in scientific research institutes have experienced failure after failure trying to plant wheat and potatoes using soil samples. Despite disappointing results, we are hopeful as new findings show that new genetic mutations of carrots and cabbages will be able to take root even in highly toxic environments. One pill a day, keep you awake. Salmonex, the new, effective, non-habit-forming aid to sleep. Taken as directed, Salmonex helps bring 100% safe sleep. An Alaskan face. But disaster can knock at any door, and all too often does. In this country, there were more than 36 tornadoes in 1950 and 65 floods. In 1952, over 48 floods, 26 tornadoes with 254 killed and over 2,000 injured. Along the Gulf and on the eastern coast, disaster can wear the hurricane's face. There were over 24 hurricanes in 1955. Any year in the cities, fire and explosion. On a single spring day, Palm Sunday, 1965, 37 tornadoes boiled through the Middle West, leveling scores of communities and killing 242 people, more than twice the toll of the Great Alaskan Quake. In the same week, floods in Minnesota were driving 23,000 from their homes and multiplying the toll day by day as they rolled on down the Mississippi.
in the Gulf of Alaska, the ocean bottom plunged, then heaved upward a full 50 feet, and a wave started racing for shore. It smashed into Valdez, tossed the China high in the sky, then drove the ship into the heart of town. Fred Numair grabbed a deck stanchion, held on for dear life and kept his camera running. No one caught on the pier survived. The longshoremen, the kids, or their dogs. The seismic wave roared on into Kodiak Harbor, turning the town into a whirlpool of boats and buildings. For the youngsters, the day wore a happy face. Until suddenly at 5.36, the earth trembled, began to shake. At Seward, it exploded the gas tank, sending the people racing for their lives as a wall of fire and water swept through the town. In Anchorage, Alaska's largest city, the quake ripped directly through the downtown district. stopped at 536 and so has everything else Alaska has been hit by a natural force equal to 10 million atomic bombs of the size that leveled Hiroshima the greatest shock to hit this continent within the 20th century on 4th Avenue the whole side of the street has dropped a dozen feet. At Turnigan by the sea, the fashionable suburb just southwest of the town, the whole bluff has skidded, collapsed out toward the bay, and 150 homes have gone with it. 50,000 square miles have been ripped and torn by the quake. The Alaskan Railroad looked like this. shock and fire and six tidal waves. In one smashing blow, 115 lives have been lost. Damage has exceeded half a billion. Whole cities lie helpless without power, heat, light, or water.
planes are streaming in from the lower 48. The president's declared Alaska a major disaster area, ordered the armed forces and all departments of the federal government to render maximum assistance, and a huge airlift is underway. Federal assistance will ultimately run to more than...